A lot of you are huge fans of my series Fish to the Dish. That's a little bit of a tongue twister. So I thought I would give you some more seafood recipes. So without further ado, I bring to you the giant shell stuffed seafood pasta bake. It's like having an ocean in the palm of your hands. All right, this one's super simple. So I'm gonna stuff the pasta with crab and then put like a ton of seafood on the top. So for the stuffing, it's really easy. Some cream cheese. And I like to bring the cheese out to room temperature so it gets really nice and soft and then you can work with it super easy. And the base flavor is shallots and garlic. Shallots and garlic are good with anything and they're super good with fish. So I like to dice up the shallots. Honestly, you could use whatever onion that you have lying around, but I find the soft, delicate taste of a shallot while it cooks with the fish is delicious. And you can't have fish without garlic. So just give her a nice big smash, cut it up. And this dish is great because you can find all of this stuff at any grocery store. It's quick, it's simple, it feeds a lot of people. And the best part is, is it's super delicious and it stars fish. So shallots, garlic, cream cheese, and this is gonna be a crab stuffing. So this is some really nice rock crab. It's delicious. You've got the leg meat, the claw meat, the body meat, and it's fresh, delicious, and takes on a lot of flavor. So this can go right into the cream cheese, garlic, and shallots. So it's time to add some big flavor and to spice it up. Jalapenos are great. If you roll out the seeds, it's not that spicy, but it gives you like a little bit of a lip warming feeling. So this is what I like to do. Take the tip and the top off, and then you can roll out the seeds. You see the seed pocket? You can just roll it out. If you like to have a little bit of spice in there, you can flake out the seeds. So I put just a few of the seeds in there, give it a lip warming effect, and then dice up the jalapeno. <laughs> little strips and then little cubes. So that might look like a lot of jalapeno, but it's not because the cream cheese is so fatty you put in the jalapeno, it's not that spicy. But to mix it up a little bit, cut through the fat, a nice shot of lemon juice. The lemon juice is really gonna help kind of dull down the spice a little bit, cut through the cream cheese. And I mean, come on, lemon, seafood, cream cheese, garlic, jalapeno, it all makes sense. It looks beautiful. So don't be shy with the lemon juice. And I put some sun-dried tomatoes in it. They're a little chewy, they're a little salty, they had a good pop of citrus, and they're nice and colorful that can go right in. I don't even chop them up, that's how easy it is. All right, so the crab is nice and naturally salty, but you wanna season the cream cheese and the garlic and the lemon. So just a couple hits of salt and a few twists of pepper. Not pepper for spice, but pepper kind of makes a new flavor when you throw it into the cream cheese. All right, you still with me? Nice and simple. So there's one herb that I'm gonna put in here and it's just some nice fresh parsley. It's beautiful. The smell of it is kind of grassy. Uh, I wouldn't throw in rosemary or tarragon. Parsley's really nice, light, fresh. It goes with seafood, and that can go right in. Super simple. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. So let's go over again so I can remember. Garlic, shallots, cream cheese, jalapeno, lemon, sun-dried tomatoes, the crab, salt and pepper. Super simple, super delicious. That's gonna make a great filling for gigantic stuffed shells. And that's a really good tip. Get the cream cheese out at room temperature and then it makes for a really nice mix. This filling is so good. It's not just for gigantic stuffed shells, but you could put this in a stuffed mushroom cap. You could stuff salmon with this. You could put this on top of a nice piece of halibut. Oh my goodness, that would be delicious. But I am gonna stuff gigantic shells. These shells are really great. You can find them in any grocery store. I cook them for about eight minutes, 80% cooked, and they're great vessels for stuffing. Let's do this. This is the easy part. So get some stuffing, put it into the shell, you can just use a spoon. What I like to do is squish it together like a little taco, and that is a flavor boat. That's gonna be delicious. Baked in the oven with a bit of cheese on top. This is the hardest part, but it might be the funnest part, stuffing them. The shells look amazing. You could just bake those like that with a little bit of cheese on it and it'd be delicious. But you know me, I'm all about flavor. I'm all about decadence. So here we go. I'm gonna make some garlic, shrimp, and scallops to go on the top. And then I'm gonna make a really cool sauce to go on to the pasta. So which let's start with garlic, shrimp. Garlic, shrimp, and uh, scallops can't start without a lot of garlic. So into a hot pan, 
You just want to hear a nice little sizzle. Not too hot, you don't want to burn the garlic, you just want to bring some of that oils out. It smells so delicious. And some butter, just a little bit of butter. Don't worry, you're not gonna consume all this butter. You just wanna bring the shrimp up to temperature and cook the scallops a little bit. That smells delicious. Anywhere there's garlic and butter, there has to be a little bit of lemon. That goes so well with shrimp and scallops. So just put a nice shot of lemon in there. That's a great sound. Lots of good things are happening. And this is what I like to do. Shut off the burner, and then you can put the shrimp in and the little bay scallops. But here's the idea, you don't wanna cook them all the way through. You just wanna to toss them a little bit, get them warmed up, and the rest of the cooking is gonna be done when we bake it. That smells delicious. Okay, so for the sauce, it's almost like a lasagna. So I'm gonna make a little white sauce. You want a nice hot pan and some shallots, that's great. Just give them a little mix, let the shallots soften up and then in with some more garlic. It's all about seafood, so lemon and garlic is going everywhere. And then another shot of lemon. This is great. You can see when the onions start to brown like that, they start to caramelize, they start to change, they relax a little bit, they get really nice and sweet, and then that's a perfect time to hit it with some heavy cream. I do, I don't know a cup of heavy cream. Let it cook down a bit so it gets really nice and thick. Okay, this is great. So once the cream sauce is reduced a little bit and it gets nice and thick, then I like to finish it with the chives. It's a little pop of color. It gives it that light onion flavor. So here's another great tip, my friends. I season the cream sauce after it's done reducing. Because it reduces, it kind of gets a little saltiness. So do it after. Just a few twists of pepper, a few twists of salt, and then the chives, so the chives stay really nice and green. And then you can just mix it together, and that's delicious. You wanna be careful with the salt, because the crab in a stuffed shell pasta has the kiss of the salt uh, from the crab. And then same with the shrimp and the scallops, are already a little bit salty. So think of it as building a lasagna. So there's a ton of really good flavor in here. Come in for one second. You've got the butter, the garlic, the lemon, and the natural flavor from the scallops. Use it, it's delicious. So I put that as the sauce on the bottom of the pan. Not too much, just a little bit to cover it up and then get that sauce into each corner and that's gonna kickstart a lot of flavor and especially the pasta for the shells, it's gonna drink that stuff up and people are gonna eat it and they're just gonna be like shaking. It's so delicious. So that's the base and then you can start placing the shells in. Nothing fancy here, just get the shells in and around, have fun. All right, so once you have some of that seasoned garlic shrimp scalp butter in the bottom, and then you hit it with shells, then it's time to hit it with that little cream sauce with all the garlic and the caramelized shallots in it and chives and lemon. You don't need a lot because this is really decadent, but try and get it a little bit on the shells, a little bit in the open spaces. Just kind of take your time here. All the hard work is done. This is where you want to have fun. And the smell in here is ridiculously good. Woo! All right, so once the sauce is on, then you can put the shrimp and scallops in. And these are great because they're not fully cooked. They're just warm through in the garlic butter and then put a little bit of cheese on it, bake it, they're perfectly cooked. And these are great shrimp. So put them in between the stuffed shells in the open spaces and you just wanna make it look really pretty. Let them pop up and every once in a while, swish it around in that butter. My goodness, this looks great. And then take the bay scallops with a little bit of that juice and then just sprinkle the bay scallops around the pasta shells, get them close to a prong. Kind of wherever they land is okay. As long as you even it out, you kind of want to dig into it, get a bite of the shell pasta, get a bite of the shrimp, get some scallops, but don't waste that garlic and the lemon inside this pan because that is how you build flavor. And then there's still some juice in there. I know it's a lot, but just kind of glaze it on there a little bit. Delicious. Okay, just a few things to finish. So you want some cheese to finish this, and you want something that's a good melting cheese. You could use cheddar, you could use mozzarella, but I'm using some Gruyere cheese. It's got a really sharp flavor. It goes well with seafood. You wouldn't think that cheese and seafood goes well together, but just a little bit of Gruyere helps bind everything, and then you get that nice cheesy crust on the top. 
And so just to lighten it up a little bit, some fresh parsley and some lemon. It gives you some nice color, good flavor, lightens it up a little bit. And this is great. One, it's gonna make the dish look beautiful, and two, it's gonna give it a bit of flavor. So if you just slice up a few lemons, nice and thin, and place them by the prawns and the scallops, they bake, they get a cool color, and they're gonna add a little bit of flavor. Amazing! Check that out. The stuffed shell pasta with the crab and the sun-dried tomatoes and a kick of spice with the jalapeno. And then the little shallot garlic cream sauce, the garlic butter, shrimp and scallops, lemon gruyere cheese and parsley. Bake that 425. The great thing is, is you just wanna warm up the pasta, melt the cheese and you're good to go. It looks beautiful. All right, 425, let that cheese melt. Woohoo! Yes, that is the great thing about this dish. Because everything's already cooked, all you need to do is put it in the oven so the cheese gets really nice and crispy, the crab filling heats up, and it fills the house with the best aroma. The great thing about it is it's for a lot of people. It's quick, it's tasty, and it's featuring some of my favorite seafood. Oh, it smells like heaven. All right, check this out. The best part is, is it's cheesy and it's baked, so you get some really nice crispy bits. And then the pasta is nice and soft. Look at that. It's all stuffed, hot and steamy. There's scallops, there's prawns. It's so good. The crab stuffing is nice. It's got a little cream cheese in it, but because of the sun-dried tomato and the lemon and the little spice of the jalapeno cuts right through it. And then the bubbling cheese on top, baby scallops, prawns, and garlic butter. It's a winner. You're gonna love it. It's simple, fast, delicious, and feeds a lot of people. All right, see you later.